That's all right. Okay, we're showing you how to change oil. I guess you can add the other video to it. Here, we'll get you something to catch your oil in. I'm going to place it underneath your oil pan. It's right here. You look on the other side of the oil pan. Turn the plug. There's a drain bolt. It sits right there. We'll make sure your container's under that. You're going to find whatever size socket you need. You want to loosen up that drain bolt. Make sure you keep the pan kind of back because the oil's going to shoot out. You're going to take the drain bolt out. Keep a little bit of pressure on it. Oil's going to be hot, so you might want gloves. Pull it out, let it drain. Looks like a waterfall. Or, a, yeah. It's an oil fall. <laughs> Jeez, how long does it take to drain? Six quarts. One gallon and a half. I just can't believe this holds six quarts of oil. It's a big, it's a big oil pan. Well, that's draining what he did. He puts, he had to jack the car up with some jack stands. And he said there'd be a lip right here. Put your jack stand here, you jack it up. I mean, you put your jack here, and you jack it up. Then you place your jack sand there. And the same thing on the other side. See how he's got the jack underneath there? And then he's got a jack stand also. Looks like, looks like a dumb drain. How many is it? I think one foot on stuff right now. Okay, it's draining very little, JC. Okay, I'm pausing it. He's getting these oil, stu oil and stuff ready. As you can see, the oil is about completely drained out. Now it's just dripping. Okay, now he's replacing the plug. At least get you a rag and wipe it off before you put it back in. Just snug it up. It doesn't have to be tight. Very tight. You break it. What are we doing here? What are you making this video for yourself? Put on YouTube. You want to find your oil filter. Want to stick this pan under it. In this case, mine's right here. I stuck it on by hand so it shouldn't be very tight. Oh, there was in my way. They make oil for the wrenches too. I have one. But I'm too lazy to go find it. Tight. There it goes. It's going to start dripping. Typically, you want a rag. Loosen it up, let it drain out some. Now that's coming out of the oil filter, guys. Here in a second, you can see what old oil filter, old used oil filter looks like. When you pull it out, you want to make sure that this uh, this rubber O-ring comes off with it. So if you don't, and you stick the other oil filter on there, you're gonna have a double gasket, and you're gonna be leaking oil as soon as you start the car.
you want to take your, your new oil filter. You gotta get better at it in videos now. You want to take your new oil filter, take it out, make sure it rings nice, on. Nice, pretty, and shiny. Dip your finger in the old oil, or if you know if you left this on the other filter, you can sit there and just put oil on your new O ring, new gasket. So you just dip why your do you have to put it. oil on it? it? Just makes it tighten up easier. Okay. Take it with your dirty hand. Put it back up there. Thread it on. Oh, see, I can't get up in. You want to thread it back on. It just has to be hand tight. That's it. Nothing more. Or you want to fight it, getting it off. And you usually want to take some brake cleaner and spray all this old oil off there. Clean it all off. I don't have any. Okay. That's that part. Now you're going to put oil in it, right? Yeah, but I was planning on draining it working on your car. Get you a funnel. Remove your oil filter cap. It's always on a valve cover. Get your funnel in there. You now clean it out first. Make sure there's nothing in it. In this case, my car takes six quarts of oil. So I got six quarts. Yeah, he's putting six quarts of oil in here because that's what it holds. I'm not going to recommend you what brand you use. This is dealership oil. This is all I always use in this car. Ever since it's new, it's all it's had. And I got 207,000 miles on it. It's a lot of miles. Hmm? It's a lot of miles. Mm -hmm. The transmission's leaking though. Oh. It's soaked under there, I just looked. I thought you had that rebuilt. Rear end. Oh. I meant before, previously. Don't clutch in it. Oh. And if you don't want it to splash out like that, you can just turn it around. There's no handle on it. And it won't splash out. Yeah, little chick guys. I can't see it. The sun's in the camera. It's five fourths. We just put five quarts in. You've got one more quart mm -hmm. to put in it. And then after you're done changing your oil, you can stick your old oil back in these. And take it to the parts store and they'll recycle it. Free. Hmm. Start sealing these up. Same thing, turn the bottle backwards. And it won't it won't spit out of there. Funnel off. You got a rag? There's some down in here. Huh? Paper towels and stuff are down in here. Oh, I can't get them. Put your oil cap back on. Now, that is how you do an oil change. There you got some. I'll check the oil. Oh, he's going to check the oil sure too. Cool. But you want to remove the jacks? Yes. The jack stands and lower the car back down to level surface. Okay, so you gotta remove the jack stands and put the car down level to check the oil. Make sure you pull all your stuff out of here. And don't forget your oil pan underneath. Or to drain what you drain your oil in before you let your car back down. Now he's letting the car down. No, I'm not. I gotta raise it up to get jack stand up. Um, sorry, he's raising it up to get the jack stand first. You should have just took those off, right? 
What? The bricks? Yeah. Uh, can't get the jack out. It's too low. So why I drive up on them and get the jack under it? I mean, now. No. You already got the jacks out. I take them jacks out and I let that tire to the ground. This jack is not coming out from under this car. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Because it says so low. My car's lowered. Right. He said you got to do this slow. So it it's not even spent. That good. Well, that time went kind of fast, but. Because <laughs> this jack's junk. No paper towel. Yeah, in the car. Might as well pause it. Yeah. Find your oil dipstick. It's usually yellow. If you've got an automatic transmission, you might have another dipstick that's red. You know, slide it out. Mine's not going to be accurate because I've had this thing out and never put it back in all the way. I'm going to wipe the old oil off. You can tell it's due to be changed. Look how dark that is. You got your cross hatches. I can't see on this camera. I see it. You got low at the first dot and full at the second dot. No one was full, so it's good. You want to make sure it's full. If it's not full, then you might have to add half a quart or another quart to it. And that's how you change your oil. That's it, folks. You heard him. That's how you change your oil. Peace out.